the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord be with you. Amen. We call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. You are the Word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who command us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord. Grant in your kindness, we pray that no infirmity may weary us. As we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly physician. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as a people, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say, and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting. For the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sponsorial song, O bless the Lord, my soul. O bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O bless, o bless the, the Lord, Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities, he heals all your ills, he redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requite us according to our crimes. O bless the Lord, my soul. May the Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, learn from me, I need a humble heart. You'll find rest in yourselves. My yoke is easy.
because that's the meaning that we use when we do the sacrament of the sick with somebody who's dying. And God knows, I do that a lot around here, especially Monday when I'm on call. I have four different calls, including one like at midnight, made for a long night, but that's okay. But you read that passage a lot, and while I've read it a thousand times, for that family, it might be the first time they've heard it. Even though they've heard it a hundred times, it's the first time they've heard it. Because dad's going to die, and they don't. So they're really attentive. They're paying close attention. They're looking not for a uh, magical cure, a miracle. They're looking for a healing to be prepared that mom or dad is going to die. And so they really listen. And maybe we are hearing it for the first time this year. Because it doesn't feel like Christmas. I saw something on Facebook this morning about 6 o'clock. My kids are not coming home for Christmas for the first time. They can't. They shouldn't. They don't want the kids to come home. Because the family and the church cannot be a super spreader of the virus. So it's going to look very different. And for some people, very lonely. It is. And God's not going to make the virus go away. He helps us deal with the virus. And we find, well, Sister Susie might not be present. Maybe God will be more present this Christmas. Maybe we'll focus more on the spiritual. Maybe. And in some way, God will help us get through this nonsense that is scaring us. Imagine I'm basically telling you not to come to Mass. Think about that. You can come if you want to. I probably wouldn't if I didn't have to. That's a decision you have to make. Think about that, how crazy this world is right now. But only God can heal us. We don't need a little Christmas. We need a lot of Christmas. And very soon. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty.
Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord be the sacrifice of the Praise and glory be for our good and good all of the Holy Church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish in us your saving work. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For Jesus assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, opening for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so the angels, archangels, thrones, minions, and the powers of heaven, we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Similar way, subrendered to the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us all, we pray that, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave, peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We share some sign of Christ's peace.
takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Almighty God bless us and all of our families, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our liturgy ends. We go in peace, glorify God with our lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Come forward for you, Christ, if you wish to receive. 